seemed like it wasn't one of those ones that was going to be easy. It was never overly comfortable, was it? No, I think we had chances to kind of extend in the yeah. second period. Um, you know, a couple pucks just missed, hit some posts, and then it's a two-goal game going into the third. And, uh, yeah, you know, was never quite felt comfortable. For sure, yeah. And when you got a two-goal lead, I mean, in this league, that's nothing. What do you guys talk about? Because there's kind of a fine line, right, between pushing too much and laying back too much. Yeah, if you... You know, if you sit back too much, it's going to hurt you. If you yeah. push too much, it's going to hurt you. So it's just about being smart, trying to limit their rushes, trying to spend a, you know as little time as possible in our end. And then, you know, usually if you can stifle teams and frustrate them, you know, more times than not, you're going to end up getting a chance the other way. For sure, yeah. Lodney got a couple of early goals mm -hmm. for you. You know, over a point per player game. Is that kind of what you thought? You know, it's halfway through the year. Now you've seen him for a half a year. Is he pretty much as, as advertised? Yeah, know? he's, uh, you know, his practice habits are outstanding. Uh, you know, he, he really raises a tempo in practice. Uh, he's a true pro yeah. in his day-to-day, -day, the way he works out, handles himself. Uh, yeah, he's a great guy, honestly. He's one of those guys, I feel like he's been here since he was 16, right. the way, you know, he just fits in with everything we want here. And, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, really got the guys going. I thought we came out flying, and it was great to uh, great to see lads get rewarded. Sure, and he's not like a true sniper. He's not a 50-goal guy. Mm -hmm. But what does he bring to you? He seems to bring a little bit of everything, doesn't he? Yeah, he's a consistent 20-goal scorer. Yeah. He's a reliable guy. He's, you know, he's a strong penalty killer, strong two-way guy um, and he has an offense got great speed uh, you know really good hands he's just a very very strong player with great pro habits that has a real shot to, to, to move up for sure um, coming into that game Hamilton had one of the best power plays in the league um, I'm assuming one of the one of the notes pregame was was try to be disciplined mm -hmm. were you kind of frustrated with the amount of penalties your team took today uh, in the third for sure I thought we did a great job I mean uh, if you were 28% power play and you give them multiple chances they're going to score um, you know so uh, yeah definitely uh, that was the key for us and uh, yeah you know you can see what they can do. How difficult was that too in the third period because you were down a defenseman too in the third period with no late more you know Mason Howard hasn't played a lot lately how difficult is it to kill those penalties off against that team? Yeah exactly exactly it's tough when you're going you know four defensemen and uh, it makes it more challenging, but uh, you know these, these guys can handle big minutes, so it's it's it's, it's really no big deal. Um, you know, you just when you're out there, you've, you've got to get the job done, and you know the, they let teams hang around. You know when they have deadly power plays, and they can make you pay, and that's what they do. Uh, especially early in the game, you guys just seem to run your lines. You weren't really concerned about. Um, like line matchups, was that more of like a, a commitment to making sure all four lines played or just trust in your guys or what was the rationale there? Um, it was just they were all playing well. I, you know, there was really no uh, matchup that I was kind of, you know, I didn't like. So I thought, uh, you know, the guys were doing well. Um, you know, I thought our bottom line and bottom lines could play against their, you know, three lines fine. And, you know, that was... That was it. It was really just the way they were playing well, and you know, as it got going a little, you know, sometimes you got to change things as, as it goes along. But early, I thought they did a great job for us. Uh, just, you know, you've been on a bit, of, a bit of a roll lately. You go into London tomorrow night. Traditionally, a bit of a tough place to play for anybody, not just the nice dog. Do you welcome it? You know, given that you're on a roll right now, or do you, you know, kind of, you know, wish you had everybody here for it? Ah, uh, you know, you'd always, you know, I'd love to go toe to toe with, you know, full rosters, and you know, we won't see that, you know, at all unless we're in the finals. So, uh, no, it'll be fun. It's an exciting building to play in. Uh, you know, they're the marquee team in the league, right? So everyone, uh, everyone gets up for it. Uh, they're in a bit of a bit of a slide, uh, you know, lost in overtime and then or shootout, and you know, lost in one cell. So they'll be uh, very motivated. Uh, you know, they're another team, great depth, great speed. Uh, they have a ton of weapons. So uh, I hope no one thinks. Just because you know they got a couple guys away at camps, uh, it's going to be easy. Uh, it's this London team won 17 in a row for a reason.